common ways of greeting. Hello, hi, g'day, ciao, yo. How's it going? How's it hanging? Give me five. What you looking at? Howdy, do you know so-and-so? Excuse me, you look very familiar. Have we met? You're so-and-so's brother. You're so-and-so's sister. Can I buy you a drink? I know I've met you. How can I forget you? Have you seen? I think we have friends in common. Who the hell are you? Jazz Coutiers, folks. <laughs> I'm in love with my telephone. I'm in love with my telephone, the way that it rings and only wants to talk to me. Blowing sweet kisses, <laughs> nibbling on my ear, telling me only what I want to hear. A smile will appear. I love its impatience, wanting to be always picked up, held passionately in a loving embrace, almost sculpted to my face. I love its calling out. Beat at home down a busy street, driving in a car, <laughs> chatting in a heated spa, always a fuss on the bus. Oh, <laughs> I'm in love with my telephone who moans for me each time it rings, unselfish in its giving. Oh, this is living. Ring me. Hello? I'll be right there. <laughs> That's going to be fabulous for the live recording, folks. Uh, it was a hit during the Fringe show that we did this year, The Return of Shaggy Dubitz. It was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you really had to be there. But you're here now, and that's just as good. This is my second, uh, well, this is our second uh, performance here at Coma. Last time we were here, I was wearing shorts because it was hot. But now it's winter, so I thought I should dress up because I know that uh, you love a man in a suit, Coma audience. I know that you love that. No, I'm here to deliver every step of the way. Oh, and the hat. Ready, steady, ever ready. I'm asking you nicely. I'm asking you precisely. Don't. I'm asking you personally. I'm asking you warmly. Stop. I'm asking you directly. I'm asking you immediately. Please. I'm asking you repeatedly. I'm asking you breathlessly. Stop. I'm asking you loudly. 
I'm asking you proudly. Do you smoke frequently? Yeah. <laughs> Tonsil hockey. She kissed me, she did. Invaded my mouth. She led the charge. I liked it, I did. Except for the bit where she said she couldn't believe she just did that. But I could, I was there, I liked it, I did! <laughs> what a fabulous audience you are. I've always wanted to be a male burlesque dancer. I've always wanted. But as the Rolling Stones will tell you, and Devo when they did a fabulous cover, you don't always get what you want. <laughs> Pucker up. <laughs> you suck, I suck, we all suck. Like little goldfish sucking for air at the water's surface. We, the straw people, suck. Cars suck, traffic really sucks, red lights suck, brakes don't. Commercials suck. Losing sucks, disease sucks, syringes jab and suck. Getting a park sucks, repetition sucks, repetition sucks, repetition sucks, repetition sucks, repetition sucks. Yubbo suck, sporto suck, yuppies suck, religion sucks, but faith doesn't. The 80s suck, paying bills sucks, gravity sucks, mouths suck, vacuum cleaners suck, positively sucking can be good. Negatively, sucking sucks. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, because I'm a writer, uh, Shaggy Dewey is a writer, he thought he should do some literary references for what is clearly a very intellectual crowd. The sort of crowd that uh, if we all decided to go to the State Library, you would know exactly the sections to go to. You would, every single one of you. Especially my good friend, Mr. Don Brown. He would know exactly where you need to go to. Right up the back, where all the good stuff is. <laughs> where it's the serious alphabet. Where the ABCs are just dropping the notes that you need to get you through those long, dictionary moments when the only thing you've got is a thesaurus and a warped sensibility. So I'm going to drop some literary references for you. And I'm going to dedicate it to my good friend, Mr. Lyndon Burrow Gray. Dr. Uggs. I'm an alcoholic poet. Smacked out rock and roller. A cocaine snorting yuppie. A hyped up steroid user. A speed abuser. A mummy's boy yet to cut his apron strings who doesn't have permission to use sharp things. An IT nerd led by smart pills. 
I'm an anorexic model, a bulimic sumo wrestler, a Viagra Papa. Hey, look at my whopper. A swallower of sterling mushrooms, I zoom. I'm eating opium just like Thomas De Quincey did in 1821. I'm Gerard de Naval, eating out of the hashish club, walking my pet lobster, tied with a ribbon along the Champs Elysees. I'm dropping Owsley acid, soaked in sugar cubes, and PC would be proud. I'm a Kona. That's how I like my ice cream. A Rastafarian spiritually cleansed by the herb. Marijuana, smoke it like a Havana. An organic hippie in the age of Aquarius. I'm a shaman, talking with the spirits, finding cures. I'm a raver on ecstasy. Love, maduk duk. A depraved sniffer inhaling amyl nitrate. Bug of the headache. Sucking down nitrous oxide from a balloon. I am the man on the moon. And when I get all steamed up, pop goes a weasel. We all fall down. hundreds and thousands into his urethra just so he could piss rainbows. <laughs> Ooh. Touch. Stop it. It's bad. But I like it. fabulous audience you are. You're the sort of audience that we want to take home, uh, sit up on the couch, uh, cook your stuff, pour you wine. That sort of audience, that's the sort of audience that you are. That's a fabulous audience. <laughs> and uh, I wonder what we're going to do next. Who knows? <laughs> is the word. I'm unenthused about how the word come has been abused. That's C-O-M-E, not C-U-M. You see, the problem is come is all over the place, on your face, worn like a necklace. It's a disgrace. Even innocent expressions like I'm coming or come in, come on, come over here, come join us, come with me. They're all innocent, really, but it's now seedy as I read between the lines while we come together right now over me. (laughs) 
innuendo. A hole in one, a hole in none. Celibacy holds all the cards, but none of the fun. Apparently. Vitamin C. If you're feeling low, why not give an orange a go? But if citrus ain't your thing, cause it gives your mouth a sting, then how about a hug for that extra ping? You'll love this one, folks. Gift thrift. I tried to make you a card, but it was hard. What, with all that paper and glue? So it's no wonder I got stuck on you. I cut out shapes, then colored them in, all the while with a grin. Until my balloon got popped by a pin. Going back, well, really, it was April the 1st, 1996, when I was born, Shaggy Doobies first came to the Adelaide stage. Technically, it was March 24th during the 1996 Fringe Underground, but that was before I met the Jazz Coteers, which I didn't meet them until uh, 2009. So a lot's happened to Shaggy Doobies. He's been an underground artist, but in the last couple of years, he's come up above the ground, much like the mole in the burrow, and he's, he's coming out and he's, and he's saying, hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> but I've actually gone overseas. <laughs> here's, here's something that I think you're gonna really enjoy and it's uh, short, unlike me. But when I was first born, I was very short and, it, and I didn't have a growth spurt until I was 16. And uh, it really looked as if I wasn't gonna grow at all. So if that ever happens to you folks, uh, on a psychological level, just keep with it. Just keep with it and it can happen. Like it happens in this poem, Awake. Hear the secret of each day, feel its warming whisper, its kiss upon your lips, for its ever so gentle prod shall wake you, opening heavy lids. <laughs> Strut. Live life, find a wife, love, live, forgive, thrive, sort it out, stop. You're making sense. The cynic gimmick, zealous jealousness, plug me in, spread my grin like just melted butter over a piece of burnt toast. Advertise lies, nice surprise, love your thighs. My feet keep walking out on me, my socks keep falling down. Should I wear a dressing gown? I know what you're thinking, even though you don't. I can't believe you, Santa Claus. Not after you pause my development. I've lost my gullibility factor. I'll never be on Australian Idol now. My face looks better than your face. That's why you won't date me. I'm a cunning linguist who likes to go downtown in my dressing gown. That's what you were thinking, wasn't it?
not easy to do, folks, not easy to do. Pulling up stumps. I had an adventure. When I got out of bed today, I call it Welcome to my life. It's full of parties and swell times, just hanging out, full of cocktail dresses and kick our suits, hot conversations, no time for mutes. Spoon fed puddings by the calls of cutlery starts recruiting from the outside in. Took a spin on the dance floor, push couches out of the way. Too hemmed in, see kipple couples uncoupling their kinks, bobbing heads over ice stuffed sinks. I laughed later and later with someone's daughter until the dawn of yawn as party goers scattered to the empty streets left to endure that sense of is that it? left to go home alone as activity begins to happen to someone else Mr. Rob Ayres, Mr. Ben Fuller. Urban-esque. I climbed a street sign once, but it wasn't as good as a tree. I love the environment clearly. I love you dearly. This generation This generation thinks it invented sex this generation is still dealing with the ramifications of free love. This generation is dealing with parents who don't know how to parent. 
This generation comes from families where one in three is divorced. This generation has come out of the closet. This generation is disillusioned with politics. This generation was raised by TV. This generation has to pay for its education once again. This generation is into retro. This generation is bombarded by advertising. This generation is obsessed with being cool. This generation has a thing for spiky hair. This generation loves to hug. This generation smokes more marijuana. This generation excels at the internet. This generation took Dungeons and Dragons to a whole other level. This generation needs to get out more. This generation really digs fanzines. This generation likes taking ecstasy. This generation is pro-environment, anti-war, and pro-peace. This generation faces a sci-fi future. This generation is getting into the swing of recycling. This generation is at the forefront of evolution. This generation, sorry, has a short attention span. Thank you so much. Woo! Thank you so much, folks. Uh, I'm not sure if you've met my manager, Charles, but I'm, I'm actually Charles. Um, if you'd like to see us before we go into stasis, uh, we're doing a cabaret fringe gig at La Boheme on uh, the 17th of uh, June at 4 p.m. It's a tribute show to Shaggy and the, and the Jazz Guitars because it's 16 years that my alter ego, Shaggy, has been around. And uh, we'd love to have you there because I've had to cancel the other three because no one's booked. <laughs> So now's your chance, folks. Just ring up Bass. Let me know on Facebook. Let Mr. Cagney know. Let uh, Mr. Gray know. They will let me know. If I know that you're coming, I'll be... F folks, I've got a new outfit being premiered <laughs> as well. I don't know what inducements you need. This is actually the original suit that I used to wear at Cargo. And I'm glad it still fits. I know, it's not bad. I know, I know. I have, I have. I've been at Edinburgh, the Fringe Festival, and I've done stuff. So we'd love to have you there, folks. It's at four o'clock. Uh, so you, thank you so much for having us here. We can't wait to come back. We can't wait uh, for me to write some... Well, we can't wait for Charles to write some new material because I know how much you love Bunknik poetry, <laughs> which is my, my creation of 50s beat culture with 70s Saturday morning cartoons. And uh, I know that's what you love. And that's what I'm here to deliver with my friends, the Jazz Thank you so much.